Well evening folks, Low Moose here. Merry Christmas. This is Christmas night. Hope everyone had a great Christmas day today. Uh, what'd y'all do for Christmas dinner? Really? I bet that was pretty good, wasn't it? You know, you can either, most people do the traditional things, of turkey or ham. Uh, everybody knows I'm kind of off-center, do some different things. And so earlier in the week, I was talking to the kids and all and ask them, what do you want for Christmas dinner? Chicken wings. Huh? Yeah, they wanted chicken wings. So, we had some uh, chicken wings, some fries, some broccoli slaw. And I know my buddy Roy down in Australia is kind of wondering if I'm ever going to do any cooking videos again. So, Merry Christmas, Roy. Here you go. Uh, this video is just kind of showing you how I uh, put together my uh, chicken wing dinner. And it really came out really good. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan of Old Bay wings, using Old Bay seasoning on the wings. Everybody said these were the best wings I've ever done. Uh, it came out really crispy on the outside and tender and moist on the inside. I mean, pretty much perfect. And I think the key to that is, as you'll see in here, I use three Dutch ovens on my three-burger Camp Chef stove to uh, heat the oil up. And I was monitoring the temperature, and I didn't even put the uh, wings in until I got up to 375. And that kind of, I don't want to say sears, but it, it really creates the crunchy crust from the skin on the outside. Uh, and then I used my uh, Presto Big Fry Daddy uh, electric deep fryer for the uh, french fries. Cooked it all outside. Beautiful day today. <laughs> it was 80 degrees. Uh, beautiful sunny day. Very few clouds out. In fact, as soon as I got done eating, I jumped on the motorcycle and got out and rode about 120 miles. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the bike, and especially with this jacked up left knee I've got, I decided, well, yeah, what the hell. Uh, it's almost the end of the year, and I'm going to go ride. So I put my heavy-duty knee brace on and took off. Uh, but while you're watching the video, do me a favor. Please hit the like and subscribe uh, buttons, and if you hit the notify bell, you'll be notified when I uh, make new videos. One of these days, I might get around to doing uh, a live stream. Uh, haven't tried that yet. Probably be next year after I get back from the next West Virginia trip. Uh, but I had to hurry home from my motorcycle ride so I could jump on uh, Sean on Alaska's live, live stream and, you know, chat with him and his followers and stuff for a while. It's really a great community. I mean, it, people laugh about YouTube and stuff, but it, I have made more friends on YouTube than I have uh, living here in the San Antonio area for nine years. Great people. So it really is a community. You know, I got my buddy Jim, uh, Willy Rhino Adventures, and Nina and Josh, Wood and Water Outdoors, and, you know, I follow some of the uh, moto vloggers. Uh, it's just been so much fun. And I'm not going to do a wrap up video here on uh, New Year. Well, probably be the 30th, because I'm hoping to hit the road on New Year or New Year's Eve, heading back to West Virginia, since that's a federal holiday and I'm off work. Uh, but anyway, Please hit the like and subscribe to notify, and I hope you enjoy my little chicken wing video. It's a different twist on a Christmas dinner, but, you know, the important thing is that uh, you, you fix things that, in, as I always say, cook the way your friends and family want to eat. Well, uh, that's exactly what I did today. They wanted chicken wings, and in fact, Cameron had one of his buddies, Gabe, over. And Gabe was, I think, my newest subscriber. He subscribed to the channel today. And so, yeah, we fed Jay, uh, Gabe. Gabe, too. He really liked the wings. In fact, he put some of the Old Bay on it, too. Uh, good young man. Anyway, hope everyone enjoys this, that you've had a wonderful Christmas. This is Lone Moose out. See you on my next video, folks. All right. We interrupt the making of this video to bring you a very special announcement. While I was doing the editing on this, uh, the dogs went crazy at one part where I was wishing a lot of my YouTube friends a, uh, a Merry Christmas. So I had to cut that part out. And so uh, to my best buddy Jim, the Woolly Rhino, Jim and I have been good friends since high school, which has been over 50 years now. Uh, wasn't trying to slight you, Jim. But, uh, you couldn't hear what I was saying when the dogs started barking, so I had to cut that little clip out. But I definitely have to wish my, my buddy Jim a very, very uh, Merry Christmas. Jim's had kind of a tough year with some things going on. Uh, you can't ask for a better friend. 
better guy out there. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, please do that as well. So, again, Lone Moose out. Hope you enjoyed the video. The eating was really, really good. Uh, can't say enough about that. So enjoy, folks. Well, hi there, Moose Toot fans. Merry Christmas. Uh, gonna do something a little different today for Christmas dinner. Youngins decided they wanted chicken wings for dinner. So, that's what I'm doing. Using my Camp Chef three burner out, outdoor stove and three cast iron Dutch oven type devices. And I'm gonna fry me up some uh, chicken wings. I uh, hope you all enjoy them. These are wings that I got from Costco. I've had their wings before and they've been very good. Okay, that's two of the three packs of the wings in. Let those things cook a little while. When they're done, I'll get the last one in there and also get the french fries started. Okay guys, 
these wings in these farthest two are cooking a lot faster than the wings in the uh, enameled one. I don't know if that's any significance, just an observation at this point. And I've got the deep fryer heating up. The things are chugging on along towards dinner. Okay, let's get these first ones out of here. Uh, and Mr. Wind wants to kick up on this, uh, of course. And note to self, when building my cooking area in Alaska, build it where it's in kind of a windbreak. It'll be probably more windy there than it is here. In fact, I'm sure it will be. And the french fries just went in. Yep, they're pretty well even. Now, to answer your first question, I'm frying these with peanut oil. Pure peanut oil. So I used to use in a turkey fryer, the deep fry turkeys. But I, use, I like it for a lot of different deep frying applications because it's got a little bit higher smoke rate or smoke temperature than some of the other oils. You still have to pay attention to what you're doing, don't get me wrong, but you don't have quite as much of a chance of it going poof on you. And that's a bad thing when it goes poof. The cheese inside for right now. All right, we're back up to about 300. When it gets up to about 350, I'll put the other wings in. And I already know now that I can get this last package in these two Dutch ovens on the end. Yeehaw. You all right there, baby boy? Huh. How do y'all like your chicken wings? Some people like them with regular buffalo sauce, mild, medium, or hot. 
or I personally like garlic wings, but I don't have any garlic oil, so I can't make me any garlic wings today. But uh, otherwise, I'll put lemon pepper on mine or Old Bay. If you've never tried putting Old Bay on your wings, you are missing out. That is primo, in my opinion. We are almost to hot temperature, so I can get the other wings going. These are just about to finish up, and the french fries over here are starting to cook. It's all coming together. It's going to be a good Christmas, folks. It's going to be about 80 degrees here today in South Texas. Bright, sunny day. See if I can show you that. Uh, very few clouds in the sky out there, and so we're eating early around two o'clock or so because my goal is to get out there and do some motorcycle riding uh, once I get done eating even with my bad knee even with my bad knee I'm gonna try and get out there and do some riding so let me get these other wings in here was a big pop. And then here's my big fry daddy, uh, presto fry daddy, big electric deep fryer that I'm cooking the french fries in. So they're coming along, just about ready. I'm ready. You guys ready to eat? No, I'm talking to you, my fans out there. But like I said, please leave me uh, your thoughts down in the comments on how you guys like to have your wings. You know, how do you cook them? I was thinking about smoking some and then barbecuing them, but I got nixed on that. Everybody wanted them the traditional deep fried way. So that's what we're doing today. All right, I'm now declaring this batch done. Get out of here. And what I'm going to do after I get done eating is I'll put the lids on these things, keep the bugs out of them, go for my motorcycle ride, and then this evening I'll pour the oil back into its container for future use.
And if you've ever cooked wings, you know the problem of them sticking together. So what I'm doing right now is just breaking them apart. That way they cook a little more thoroughly. Yeah, I like doing it this way. I used to have a big old propane uh, steel six and a half gallon deep fryer that had two big buckets in it. Baskets, buckets, whatever you want to call it. But, and I mean that thing went through a lot of propane and it got really hot. But I think this way of doing it is actually giving me a little better uh, finished product. Of course, I'm a big cast iron fan anyway, so. And big shout out to my friends Nina and Josh in Kentucky, and hopefully they're continuing with their tornado relief efforts, uh, enjoying their Christmas day. And if I know them, they're out there helping some folks. I saw Nina posted on Instagram last night. She was taking her own stitches out from tornado night when she stepped on that broken glass. So, tough little gal. So Merry Christmas, guys. To Roy down in. Australia. Uh, Merry Christmas, my friend. Your weather is probably about the same as mine here today. And then, of course, we've got you know, Sean. Sean up in Alaska. Merry Christmas, Sean. Uh, I know you're going to be doing a live stream after a while. So I'll probably get back in time to get in on the tail end of that. But I'm sorry, I just cannot afford to miss a good motorcycle riding day like this. And then another channel that I watch quite a bit, uh, Eric and Ariel, Simple Living Alaska. I know they don't know who I am, but I know who they are, so Merry Christmas to them as well. And then Stacy, cabin dweller up in uh, Canada. She just did a live stream the other night. All great people. In fact, I have really only met one person, a YouTuber that I would call semi-sketchy. Uh, everybody else, I mean, they're just fantastic, upstanding people, building the community. Uh, just exactly as Nina and Josh, you know, they've got their community there and what they're doing for relief efforts. That's what it's about. Everybody working together. So I'm about to wrap this up here in a minute. But I do want to, again, wish everybody a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Hope you guys are having a good dinner, whatever your choice may be for Christmas. You know, I'm kind of an unconventional guy, so I like to do some, some different things. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the old traditional ways of doing things. Not one little bit. Yeah, when I, uh, I guess it was last spring when I bought these wings at Costco, I was able to get the three pack of them. Like there's like about 18 wings in each pack, 16, 18, something like that for $24. And you can't do that anymore. The prices just keep going up and up. I looked at it the other day and it was close to $40 for the same thing. So there is something to be said with buying stuff and sticking it in the freezer until you're ready to use it.
fun of you, big boy. Too hard to get along with. I'm just combining them into one so I can shut off a burner. Save a little bit more propane. Boom. mainly putting the covers on there to keep the bugs out of it. I know a lot of bugs are pure protein, but eh, I really don't care for bugs in my well. There the old bay in the cabinet. Okay, hopefully that's focusing. There's my old bay. And as usual, good old Texas. Oh, it hasn't been opened yet. <sighs> okay, don't cuss Texas on this one. Look. Parmesan garlic, yeah. Okay, now, here we go. Needs to say these are my wings, unless some of the kids want them. But I like to get the old bay on it while there's still a little bit of oil to help it stick. All right, I'm going to wrap up for now. So, anyway, this is Low Moose out, wishing y'all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, safe holidays. Uh, please, please stay safe. 
you know, it's crazy. There's been a lot of issues with travel and stuff this year. So just do your best to stay safe. Can't afford to lose you. You're all my friends out there. So again, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Lone Moose out.